So, for those of you who haven't seen the live stream, go check that out. My internet died halfway through, so I'm just recording this as a regular video. I am so sorry, everyone. I did not anticipate that ever happening. The router died, and thus I cannot, you know, record. So, ultimately, I'm going to decide against um, low not or um, swinging in the boats. Actually, it's probably better to just swing in and drop that one. And then, yeah, that one might clear the ship in time. It's going to be like a collapsible D launch, though. This is, I'm just going to float it off like boat A, because. And then we're going to swing that back out. Because it is the best thing I can, because otherwise it'll just get trapped. And yeah, she's definitely starting to go a lot faster. So let's see. Let's lower this. We're going to watch it pretty carefully because I need to make sure that it actually gets off the ship in time. She is rolling like crazy. Holy cow. She's listing over quite a bit. Uh, scrubbing against the side. Just continue lowering and it'll fix itself. And it's actually going to clear the other boat. That is impressive. So it's... Yeah, that is... Extremely late in the sinking. Like, probably a couple minutes from when the ship's going to go under. I guarantee you this video is going to be way shorter than 30 minutes, like... Because I'm just going to complete this, and then I have to go out and do some chores. And yeah. And we're just going to leave the lights on until the ship, you know, fully disappears, because it's too lazy to, turn, to, like, wait in the bridge until basically the lounge is underwater. And then turn the lights off, but... I'm actually going to stay on this lifeboat because it has a cool view. So water is at the bridge wing, and I think, yeah, we're to the point where water is starting to swamp the bridge of the ship. Well, this is an, took an unexpected turn as far as the internet dying. Again, sorry, I just can't believe that that happened when I was in the middle of a thing, but you know. The ship is starting to drop much quicker. Oh, look at that. The, the actual, like, bridge part of the bridge is underwater now. Wait. Is, is it seriously getting... Okay. Okay, it's free. Everything around me is just slowly slipping under the waves, and it is absolutely awesome, awesome to look at. We're going to really quickly take a look in the grand staircase to see how it's faring. And much to my surprise, the reception room is barely under is barely underwater. I will admit the interior flooding on Jake Hillen's ship is also much, much better paced. But, you know, that was also an issue on Zequan's ship, and I think that's just, you know, low physics. But I need it to properly to run the ship in a, at a decent frame rate, so, oh well. Lifeboat's making it off, right? Okay, yeah, no, we're good, we're good. Ooh, that's interesting. I, is that... It's not. Ooh. There's going to be like a little more water pouring in once that goes under. Ah. 
that's strange to look at. And yes, the ship is just kind of sinking now. Um, of course, everything is sinking. Um, the ship is plunging now. Actually, like I would, I would say that this is the final plunge. If nothing else, in the fact that the ship's first funnel is quite literally touching the water. Everything for it is just inaccessible. Yeah, she is just dropping by the head. What does this look like? Oh, that's horrifying. Just water coming up the windows like that. And so for a brief moment, the people in the Grand Staircase are going to get a interesting view of the rest of, with the, basically the rest of the ship completely underwater. And that lifeboat got completely capsized. I should have swung those davits in. Oh, well. We have one upside down lifeboat and one upright lifeboat out of the two class pools, which is pretty neat. Pretty neat. So, yeah. This is definitely horrifying to look at. It's strange. The first funnel has come basically underwater at this point. Second funnel's nearing. He's about to touch the water. And I'm actually going to open up all of the hatches on the top. Because I just feel the need to make sure that these areas flood. Yeah, once the compass tower is underwater, I'm actually going to go in and flip the lights off. But it has to be fully underwater first, so we'll wait for that. And there goes the compass tower. We are only eight minutes into this video. Good lord, this thing sinks so quickly. All right. Ship's rear end is up in the air. And yeah, compass tower is underwater, so lights go out. Sorry about this bit. I go on the on the main lifeboat, and yeah, ooh, that is a spooky sight. I'm actually gonna go on. The hell? Oh, that's actually a working firebox. That's cool. Absolutely horrifying. Let's just stay up the. Let's stay on the stern, because I can hop up here now.
And yeah, she is going quick. Look at that. The fourth funnel has disappeared under the water. Or is about to. The ship is completely vertical at this point. And she is very quickly dropping. Oh, oh god. <laughs> I need to teleport up here now, because... Oh my god. That is horrifying. It's like I'm going to watch the deck houses slowly disappear. And there she goes, the final plunge. I'm actually going to watch her solely from up here now. because Yeah, look at the lifeboats just raising up. Alright, looks like they're, like, done. There she goes. I'm just watching it get closer. It's absolutely terrifying. Oh, and there it goes. There goes the docking bridge. There goes the benches. And there goes that little whatever that is. And here goes the stern. Slipping away. So yeah, that was my first take on the uh, uh, Olympic, that ice monster made, like, as a finished product. And I absolutely adore this thing. It is beautiful. Um, I would highly recommend getting it. I sadly, well, I won't, yeah, never mind. Uh, anyways, that's it. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.